Hey, what is going on guys? So, um, the other day I did a skate review of, well, skate review, where I kind of went over the Kyle Walker Pros, um, and kind of talked about them a little bit, but today we're going to skate them and see kind of how they, I guess, fare in actual skating conditions. Um, so yeah, um, the weather's been better today, it's been a lot warmer, it's a lot drier out, so... Um, yeah, I'm heading to Walmart right now. It is a little later in the day than I am used to filming. Um, so anyway, um, yeah, I'm going to get to the top of this hill, kind of skate them a little bit, and then give you guys the full breakdown of what, um, I guess is going down with these shoes. Um, so yeah, see you at the, at the hill. Okay, so that is it for the video today, guys. Um, so, when I noticed there's that, yeah, if I can speak, I, yeah. What I notice when I am skating is that um, the, the waffle cups do seem to, or the waffle control on these shoes, does seem to definitely give me more grip on my grip tape, and um, definitely is nice when I'm pushing off because I feel like I do get a little more extra umph when I am skating. So they are def 
definitely good with the waffle control. And then um, I do like that they are super light, um, but without insoles, they aren't, I guess, kind of hurt my feet after a little bit of skating, which I guess is just in general what happens with skate shoes after you skate in them for so long. But um, but if you put insoles in them, they're really good shoes. But um, like I said, for long distance pushing, um, they're still kind of good without the insoles, but maybe not as good as like if you put insoles in them. But other than that, they're really nice shoes. Um, so yeah, that's my overall review of them. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe, and see you guys tomorrow at 6 o'clock.